Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my countdown to Christmas car builds. And we're on number two. I can't believe it's December the 2nd already. That's crazy. Um, but last car build, we made this. This is an absolute hidden gem. This Alfa Romeo Spider Quadrilogia Verde. My best drift car. It's actually my best drift car right now. It's an absolute hidden gem. It's crazy. Okay, so... I got you guys to leave a comment and I want you to leave a comment on this video what car you want to see tomorrow um, obviously with that car put like a spec with it like if you want it race spec if you want it um, to look clean if you want it to look slammed if you want it to look I don't know something uh, just just something to have a theme about but it's gonna be drifting even if you call it race spec I will put a massive wing on it but I still drift it um, but put um, put a theme with it as well uh, but on to this week's, uh, there was a top rated comment, it said the S14 rust bucket style. And unfortunately, as many of you might know, on this game, S14 is not in it. Um, so unfortunately I can't do that car. Um, but I'm going to go to the second rated comment, which was an old school Skyline. And uh, by old school Skyline, I don't know if you mean the Nissan GTR or not. Uh, but I am going to do the Nissan GTR. Um, so let's jump over to where do I need to go? I need to go to this place over here. Um, let's just fast travel there. Um, but yeah, old school skyline. Um, there wasn't a theme with it, so I'm gonna just keep it nice and nice and low key, nice and kind of like a how a Nissan GTR should look. Just clean, looks nice, looks absolutely insane. Um, just keep it low key. So let's jump into the auto show, uh, auto show and Dude, let's put a quick things? filter on. Uh, JDM icons. There we go. I didn't even know that was on there. Okay, so it should be in here. It's not in there. Are you serious right now? Wow. Okay. So it's not in G JDM icons. Um, what else would it be? And I don't even know. <laughs> Let's just do real drive and I'll find it. Don't worry. Um, so we're on V. Okay. Not far to go. Just down here. Nissan 2000 GTR. Here we go. A Nissan GTR. Obviously it doesn't have Skyline in its name. And technically... It isn't a skyline, but it is. Like, it is. It says it right there. Like, loads of people don't call this a skyline for some reason when it's called the Skyline 2000 GTR. Um, but yeah, that's the old school skyline. I hope I chose the right car. Um, obviously, if you know the model of the car, please put that. It will will help. Okay, sorry, I just checked the comment because I thought there was a theme, but it, it wasn't in my mind. Um, basically, they put to keep it old school JDM style, so... We could do that. We could do that. Um, I'm tempted to stick with the stock rims. Uh, that... Do you want to save the game? Alright, thank you. Um, stock rims. I really like them. I don't know why. They just hit the spot with me. Uh, especially on this car. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into the garage. Hey, so they going? want an old school JDM you? look. So if we stick stock wheels, um, I think that will work. Okay, let's go. Engine swap. Do we want an engine swap? There is the RB there. Um, if we chuck the RB in, we know we are going to be good at drifting. Um, but phew. Seeing as it's an old school at JDM build, I think we should stick with the stock engine. Let's go for it. Well, I don't know why I try and install it when it was already on there, but yeah. Um, drive train, we don't need to swap that. It's already wheel drive. Um, aspiration, should we turbocharge it? What's the power? Uh, 2,000 horsepower. Okay. Um, no, let's not do it. Um, this car is very light. 1,100 kilograms. With all the upgrades, it should push under 1,000 kilograms. So it should be absolutely fine. Okay, so bumpers. Um, I don't know what that one... That's just... Okay, that just makes it more clean looked. Uh, let's go for the clean look on this. Um, obviously, being an old school JDM car, you might not be able to 
I trust too much, but let's not go for the wing. That takes down the speed too much, and seeing as we are using the stock engine, we're going to need as much speed as we can. Uh, remove rear bumper. I am tempted to do that, you know. Uh, it makes it look a lot cleaner. I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep this car this color. Uh, it's a very common car um, color in the Nissan GTR, so I don't want to. I don't want to go away from that old school kind of theme. So let's keep stock tires, seeing as we haven't got too much power in this. Um, tires, tires, tires. Should we try and go all the way to 235s? Let's do it. 235s on the front. Hopefully we can get like 255s on the rear. Yeah, 255s on the rear. So there we go. Okay, rims. I'm going to stick with this um, stock rims. They look very nice. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of like a... I forgot what it's called. I forgot. I forgot. I have actually forgot. My brain. My brain is not working. Uh, but yeah, that will come back to me in a minute. There, let's just crack on. Um, in drivetrain, let's put everything racing here. Um, I like the fitment on these standard wheels. I don't know what they are. Um, like in terms of offset or whatever. But on the front, like, it looks like they've got a little bit of poke, you know. They're just poking their little nose out. Yeah, so that's a race differential on there as well. So everything racing, drivetrain, platform and handling. Uh, so we want race brakes. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I know what it's come back to me now. Those wheels, they look like steelies. I don't know if they are steelies because, I don't know, the light on here is really weird. I can't really make it out. Uh, but they look like steelies, kind of like what you have underneath like a, like a trim for your wheel. Uh, but let's put race suspension on there. That's looking a lot better, I like that. Okay, so we want race anti-roll bars. And we want race rear anti-roll bars as well. Um, let's have a look at the roll cage, see what that looks like. Um, I can't go up for some reason, so I can't really see in the car. Uh, but we might as well do the roll cage. Let's go for it, roll cage is going in. Okay, race brake reduction, this should help. There we go, a lot of acceleration. We're below 1,000 kilograms already. That's crazy. That's crazy loss of weight there. Okay, so onto the engine. Uh, pff, don't know what power to aim this around. About 300 to 350, I think, will be adequate for this car, to be honest. Um, maybe if we push it up to the 400 mark, we'll always have enough power. So maybe if we go for the 400 mark um, around that, that should be fine. Um, yeah, let's do that. Race. Race with oil and cooling can help. That's fine. Uh, let's put the race flywheel on. Okay, um, camshafts will really help. This will boost it up a lot. 252 horsepower, that's nice. Chuck that on. Okay, intake and throttle bodies will help a lot as well. 268 horsepower. So we're pushing this up. I don't even think we'll reach the 400 mark here. But let's just do like, everything race for now and see what it comes up to. So let's do ignition as well. 300 horsepower. We're over that 300 brake. There we go. 314. We're pushing. We're pushing. We're getting there. Um, 339. We're nearly at the 350 mark. And I think the 350 mark is a little bit over what we need. But in terms of this car. I think we can make this work. So that is basically everything racing the engine. Really easy. Um, everything racing brakes. Everything racing drivetrain. And stock wheels. Uh, you can make yours look whatever you want. But this is just for demonstration purposes. And I think it looks very nice on this stock wheels. So that's that. And yeah. I'm going to jump into Freebo. Okay. So this car is looking clean as fuck. A lot of wheel spin. I like that. Okay. Wow, a lot of wheel spin. And I mean a lot of wheel spin. Okay, it's drifting quite nice. Uh. <laughs> why would you brake? Like, I know there's a junction, but why brake? Fuck brakes. Okay, let's try and get this drift in. Feels quite nice to stock. Obviously, it doesn't feel absolutely perfect, 
Uh, it's bogging down in gear three a tiny bit. We don't want that. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry, I've got a cold as well, so if I keep sniffing um, and sounding really weird, I do have a cold, so I do apologise for that. Um, okay, so let's go into the Mighty Tune car, and I think the gearing feels fine. Um, I'm going to take the PSI down in the front, get a little bit more feeling in my wheel. Um, gearing seems fine, so I'm going to leave that. Alignment, okay, let's take the camber up in the front. Let's take the camber up in the rear, try and get those wheels spinning a little bit more. Uh, let's leave toe for now. 5.5 cast on the front. Anti-roll bars. Make it a little bit stiffer in the rear. Okay, springs. I like my cars quite stiff, so I'm going to take this up. You can leave it how it is if you like your cars a little bit softer. Uh, but I like my cars quite stiff, so I'm going to take that up. Um, ride height all the way to the bottom. Okay. Damping. Let's take the front up a tiny bit. Let's leave... Don't want to mess around with this too much because obviously it's how this car was balanced. Uh, we don't want to ruin the balance too much. Okay, brakes. We'll leave that. Differential. We'll put this to 100. And like, deacceleration we'll put to 100 as well. Okay, there we go. So that's that. Hopefully we're about to hit the section now. Pretty nice. But yeah, we don't know how this is going to go. Okay, it's feeling a lot easier to get sideways. That curb really fucked me up then. It's got the power to just pull. Too much grip, to be honest. Far too much grip. Okay, it's feeling quite nice, feeling a little bit loose on the front, so maybe we could take those tyre pressures down a little bit more. Maybe the camp is a bit too high. Um, struggling, struggling. It's bogged down in gear 3, I don't like that. So maybe a little bit more camber on the rear, a little bit more tyre pressure. Um, let's, let's try and get this going again. Okay, it's raining, so maybe this isn't the most, the most uh, best situation right now. Because uh, obviously rain, it makes you slide a little bit easier. And maybe it's not direct representation of how this car should slide in the dry, so... There's not enough feeling in my wheel, I need to get those tyre pressures down in the front. But also the rear feels a little bit, a little bit too grippy, so maybe a little, little bit more... Um, a little bit more camber in the rear, okay. So let's try this. Let's go, okay. So let's take down the tire pressures in the front a tiny bit more. Um, let's leave, let's leave, yeah, let's leave the rear tire pressures. Alignment in the rear can go, uh, the camber can go more to negative though. Uh, we're gonna take it more negative in the rear than the front. And let's just try that. Little adjustments like that can be the key. And let's see how this feels now. It should be able to spin up a lot easier, which is good. Okay, a lot more feeling in my wheel, I like that. This car sounds absolutely insane. Okay, so it's just floating sideways, absolutely spot on, but I don't know if that's because of the rain or something like that, but... Obviously drifting in the rain, you need a lot of throttle control, so maybe the power's just about right in this car. Not too much for when it rains and you can't keep control of it. Really liking this though. Really liking this car. Now I've got control of it and I know how to drift it because obviously it's a little bit of a shorter wheelbase than all my other cars. Uh, maybe the Alfa Romeo in the last episode was a little bit, a little bit along the lines of this. Uh, but the wheelbase is, a, I think it's going to be shorter than the Alfa Romeo, but it still feels very nice to just float in sideways. You can chuck it into corners. Hold that angle, look at that. That's mad. And it's just got the power to pull out of it and just slam it into the next corner. No transition issues there. Yeah, this car's nice. I like the way it just floats sideways. I know it's a weird, a weird kind of statement, but I like the way it just kind of it's just like glides sideways, it's just like yeah, I'm floating. <laughs> but yeah, let's give it another run. Uh, see if we can find anything wrong with it. 
but I, I think it's feeling, you know, about fine. I don't see the point of changing a car when you, you have a good feeling with it and you're not struggling with it. I don't see the point of changing a car, so the amount of angle this is holding, it just feels so spot on. It feels so smooth. Uh, the engine feels silky. Oh, wow, that's close. Transitions fine. There's no big transitions, kind of unexpected transitions or anything like that. There's a car in the way, though. Dig it. All right, let's get going again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this car's feeling silky smooth. I love it. And obviously, being in this and GTR, you also get not many people using this online, to be honest, with drifting, like tandeming and stuff like that. So, pull this out. A lot of people would be like, "Whoa, he's got a Nissan GTR, you!" But not like the proper Nissan GTR, but the the 2000 GTR. That's what I mean. Whoa, that curb just fucked me up, but I managed to hold it. That's that's a good thing. That is good. Okay, so yeah, this car's feeling absolutely nice, nice, nice. I think the tyre sizes are about right. Uh, the power's about right for the weight. So, what I am going to do is just make one little adjustment um, from just drifting the car then. I am going to take down the camber in the front a tiny bit just to get a little bit more stability in the front because it feels a little bit, as, as you say, a little bit floaty, but it feels fine. But maybe just that little camber adjustment can make all the difference here. Uh, let's just give it one more run in this section. This is a very nice section by the way, so I'll bring this out in a drift spot video hopefully, uh, just for you guys. Um, so you know exactly where it is on the map and where to run and etc. So even even though you're seeing it right now, but it's a very nice section. Quite, quite smooth. There's some far sections like this bit, but then it goes into tighter sections. So, so it's a very nice all round section. Uh, but this car has been an absolutely spot on. Hope you guys check out this car to be honest. I will put it up on the storefront, storefront at the end of this episode. So that's wicked, wicked. Um, yeah, one more thing. Just leave a comment with what car you want to see next episode. Oh shit. Ugh. With what you want to see next episode. Uh, vote up a comment if you like the look of the car that someone's commented. And yeah, the most rated comment will be the car used tomorrow so I'm being a bit of a derp right now take no notice of this um, but yeah this car's feeling smooth silky that's a good word to call it actually the silk mobile yeah I like that <laughs> do I have to name every single one of my cars I hope not <laughs> but yeah this is the silk mobile hope you guys like it I'm going to upload this tune onto the storefront right now so you can see what it's called and shit like that so yeah, leave a comment saying what you want to see next episode and what theme you want it to be based on. Obviously, this was old school JDM, so it looks a little bit old school, uh, which is sick, sick. Uh, let's drag this into here. Drift. There we go. Let's upload this quickly just so you guys can download it if you don't want to copy the tune. But you can obviously copy the tune if you want to adjust it a little bit um, for your personal um, benefits. So I'm going to leave the description blank but if you just go into the storefront type in my gamer tag kevin toll and it will be on there so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give it a thumbs up december the third tomorrow we're getting closer to christmas so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys next time